G'day, I'm Rusty Swordfish. One of my favourite things to do is to come on down to the beach here and look for any creatures that have washed ashore. Come on, let's go see what we can find. Here we go. Look at this. Now this is a forkfish. It's an incredible little creature that loves to leave us a parasite inside the noses of sea turtles. Oh, he's, a, he's a seen you until you've seen some things, that's for sure. He's got damaged little tines there, but he should be all right. Here you go, mate. Oh, look out. <laughs> he's trying to get away from me. <laughs> Active little bugger. Now their breeding grounds are often far from shore, but they make their way to the open ocean by using wind and water. One of the incredible feats of their evolution is that they've worked out that the stormwater systems near coastal areas run directly into the ocean so they can get a free ride all the way to the sea. Once the forkfish is released into the ocean, it can migrate huge distances with the currents and waves. They're quite adaptive and have only really been discovered in the past few years, living in the actual nostrils of sea turtles. And when the forkfish is finished with its host, it simply swims off into the ocean looking for a new one. Now this forkfish is still a juvenile and I can tell he hasn't found a host yet, so why don't we get this little fella back in the water, hey, and give him another chance at finding his turtle. Here we go. Oh. There's another one. It's his mate. I'll come back for you. Oh, Rusty, your work is never done. Don't even know what that is. <laughs> Weird. Oh, now, now that is the most common creature you'll see when you come to the beach. The cancerous stickers. They tend to hang out in schools of up to 10 to 20 in one area. This is a defensive behaviour, but by hanging out in groups, it makes it much harder for predators to attack them. They may be small, but boy, do they pack a big punch. They're made of a special material that's indigestible and doesn't break down, and they are toxic. Not only do they attempt to kill the volunteers that release them, they then wait in the water, floating around, mimicking food on the surface, until they're eaten. And then they release over 400 chemicals into their prey, 50 of which are cancerous. Small, but incredibly deadly creatures. I'm not even gonna go near that one. <sighs> Brave volunteers, dying for their cause. Good on them. Good on them. Good on ya! Oh, look out, look what we got here. What a beauty. Oh, I think he's seen us too, he's off! <laughs> I'm really glad I could share this with you today. This little fella is the extremely common Bagus plasticus. They're found all over the world in all marine environments, from the Antarctic, through the tropics, all the way up to the Arctic. There are so many different species. They're amphibious, so they live on land and in water, and are very closely related to my favourite animal, the box jellyfish. Now, the box jellyfish can kill almost instantly, but they're nothing compared to the Bagus plasticus. They prefer to let their prey suffer. They slowly kill their prey over months by blocking their digestive system. These guys kill thousands of animals in the ocean by actually letting the animals eat them. And then they surprise the animal by killing them from the inside. 
when they're finished with the host, they continue to live and seek out other animals to prey upon. All of the Plasticus family never actually die. They just break up into smaller pieces, become juvenile Plasticus, and become even easier to eat and mistake for food. We don't yet understand how these little guys breed or where their breeding locations are. And to date, their reproduction has never been filmed. The longer Bagus Plasticus stays on land, the higher the chance of them being picked up by someone who doesn't understand their place in the food chain, put into a secure bin, never to see the ocean water again. So, we better get this little guy back in the water. Here we go. Fly away, little mate. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful. There's one of Bagus Plasticus's relatives, Balloonus heliumus. Very similar animal, often released by young children. The plastic of the balloon kills the animal from the inside as well, but they also have a nasty tail, and that thing wraps itself around dolphins and seals and kills them by strangulation. What a day we've had. We're so lucky to have seen so much already. Now I've just found something that's really rare to see these days. In fact, they've become almost extinct in the past decade, but there are some places still selectively breeding them and being released by volunteers. It's the Sixus Packers. When these guys are born, they're attached to six separate hosts. These hosts hang out together until they're torn away from the Sixus Pacus. Then when the volunteer releases the Sixus Pacus into the wild, it's almost neutrally buoyant, so it can travel huge distances, seeking out prey and trapping them in its rings. Such a beautiful creature. I think I'll take this little fella back out to the water and release him, so he never gets washed ashore again. Come on, here we go. Plasticus. The interesting thing about Bagus Plasticus is that it's actually the male who carries the babies. And, and this one's very pregnant. In fact, I think, I think it's giving birth right now. For the first time ever captured on film, the Bagus Plasticus is giving birth. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Oh, we're going to win an Emmy for this one. Or maybe a Loki. Whatever. What's really interesting is that all these creatures evolved over the last 50 years. We didn't even know they existed before that. And we don't know how long they're going to last because none of them have ever actually died. And what's got scientists confused the most is why they don't live where they should be. We all know they should be in here. But what we struggle to understand is how they never make it there. It's got me buggered. Well, that's it from me. I'm Rusty Swordfish. Thanks for joining me on my little fossick. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time.